Hello and welcome to the episode 233 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Among other things, today we'll talk about the continuation of the work on three Beatles albums, about three North American tours, and about one 12 string present. On the 21st of August 1960, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, played the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany, for their ongoing first residency in town. In 1961, the Beatles, now with Paul McCartney on bass, performed a lunchtime concert at a Cavern Club in Liverpool. Two years later, in 1963, producer George Martin and his staff edited and mixed in mono the tracks recorded so far for the Beatles' second album, with the Beatles. Money, that's what I want, you really got a hold on me, roll over Beethoven, it won't be long, devil in her heart, please, Mr. Postman, till there was you and all my loving. George, John, Paul and Ringo might or might not have been present to the morning and the first part of the afternoon session. What's sure is that, at night, the band played another two houses at the Gaumont Cinema in Burmouth, the third of six consecutive engagements in the venue. Let's move to the three North American tours of the Beatles. In 1964, the Fabs played the Coliseum in Seattle, Washington, one performance lasting 29 minutes in front of 14,720 fans. Another single show on this date in 1965, with the Beatles on the stage at the Metropolitan Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. 25,000 people were in attendance in the 45,000-seat stadium. The day was memorable because the four took their first ever sauna in the stadium facilities. George Harrison received a new 12-string Rickenbacker guitar from WDGY Radio and the owners of the local B-Sharp music store. It's the guitar used by George during the recording of If I Needed Someone. Back in England, BBC's reporter Brian Matthews was live on Saturday Club between 10 a.m. and 12 noon to discuss his experience as a Beatles tour entourage member and to play some unheard tape recorded during his stay in America. Finally, in 1966, the Beatles were busy with their third and last North American tour, playing a lunchtime concert at the Crosley Field in Cincinnati, Ohio. It was a reschedule of the afternoon concert of the day before, postponed due to heavy rain and lack of cover on the stage. Immediately after the show, the band flew 341 miles, about 550 kilometers, to reach St. Louis, Missouri, to play the Bush Stadium. The 8.30 p.m. show was attended by 23,000 people under the same heavy rain that had hit Cincinnati on the previous day, but, at least, this time the band could perform under a tarpaulin cover. At the end of the performance, the band flew to New York City, New York, arriving at 3.50 a.m. We, instead, have arrived at that point of the podcast in which I ask you to visit www.simonmas.com support and check out all the things you can do to support this show and help me to keep producing more and better music-rated content. A warm, heartfelt thank you to those that are already showing me their affection. But what about the rest of you? Don't you love me? Seriously, even a minute of your time does mean a lot. Thank you for being fab and making the difference. On the 21st of August 1968, George Harrison returned from his short Greek holiday, but it's not clear whether or not he took part in the 7.30 p.m. to 7.15 a.m. session happening at the EMI studios later in the day. During the session, Sexy Sadie was completed with overdubs of a new lead vocal, organ, bass, two sets of backing vocals and a tambourine. 
The song was mixed into mono by the end of the session, with an edit that removed about 40 seconds of the recording. Finally, in 1969, between 1 and 2 pm, a new ending of The End was prepared at the EMI Studios. Then, between 2.30 pm and midnight, the work focused on a new crossfade between You Never Give Me Your Money and Sun King Mean Mr. Mustard, and a new stereo mix of The End. Why, another episode is over! Follow me tomorrow for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.